Oh, like this pastelito. It's not like... People that don't know <laughs> Extra good <laughs> Miami, which is otherwise known as the sixth borough of New York City. We're going to meet up with our friend Atomic, a Miami graffiti artist who's known around the world for his iconic orange man. And we're going to go check out some food spots that he recommends and that we've been to too, and they're extra good. Here's Atomic. Hello, how y'all doing? Welcome to my studio. We're in Alapata. We're gonna look around Atomic Studio and watch him paint an orange man, but first we're gonna get some food to eat. We're starving. Yambo on Southwest 1st Street near Southwest 17th Avenue in the Little Havana neighborhood of Miami is a fritanga that has been in business since 1983. It was founded by Cuban immigrant Armando Perez as a tavern, but became popular with Nicaraguans because Armando organized buses to Washington, D.C. for Nicaraguan immigrants seeking asylum. The city of Miami even named the street outside the restaurant Armando Perez Yambo Boulevard in his honor. open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and is known for its carne asada and queso frito. I ordered for both of us. I got the rice or gallo pinto, which is rice and beans cooked together, uh, queso frito, which is fried cheese, uh, tortilla, uh, some salad, and that's it. And then we'll get some juice. Perfecto. Yeah. <laughs> Atomic ordered for us. Uh oh, no, Hudson, not yet. And this is what we got tortilla, ensalada, queso frito, gallo pinto. <laughs> and then there's sauce too. I hope they put some hot sauce. And the juice. It's almost like a mix. It's not like pure juice. So there's like a vibe of like tang or something, but it's like orange and melon. I'm gonna try that right now. First, let's try this grande juice. <laughs> grande, right? Mmm. Oh, it's really, really delicious. Really hits the spot on a warm day. Usually we say buen provecho, which is like bon appetit. Some veggies on there. Oh, I really like this stuff. But first, we're gonna try some queso frito. Extra good. And now. Mm. Also extra good. Yambo is definitely as much about the atmosphere as it is about its generous portions of food. And there's plenty of options for both meat eaters and vegetarians. Don't forget to douse anything you order with their house-made hot sauce. It was delicious. We love 
love that the entire storefront and patio cafeteria area is covered with folk art, knickknacks, statues, license plates, signs, and other trinkets. Your dining room is also covered from floor to ceiling with folk art. I really love those horse butt bar stools. They even have a tail. Yeah. So this is like a smaller rendition of the Welcome to Little Havana mural I did. In each uh, letter is a different event that they have during the Carnaval. So I'm gonna go outside and watch Atomic paint his iconic orange man. After all that aerosol work, it's time for a pick-me-up. Miami Bakery is a family-run Cuban bakery and cafeteria on Northwest 22nd Avenue at the corner of Northwest 20th Street in the Alapata neighborhood of Miami. It's split into an outside cafeteria serving Cuban food classics that you can eat at the patio or take away, and an indoor bakery with a long lunch counter and seating serving sandwiches and pastelitos and gorapa frio or sugar cane juice. Guarapro Frio is made using a sugar cane grinding machine which peels the cane and passes it through a pair of two cylinders of a mill to extract the juice. The juice is then strained to remove bits of pulp and served fresh over cracked ice. I'll get a batido, which is a milkshake, and then you order over there, yeah. Okay. Don't be scared. Yeah, his name is Hudson. He's a good dog. Oh, so what's the, what 
pastelito, but pastea. I got the guava pasteo. I think I am saying it right. And let's give it a try. It's, it's very, very extra good. A batido de trigo. <laughs> it's almost like a wheat milkshake. It's good. Check this out. And we're from, we're from New York, but we come down here. It's thick and it's sweet. We're at the Miami Bakery in Alapata, and uh, it's been here for 30 years, maybe 35. They're very famous for the spinning camel out front, but I think the motor has gone out of commission and it's not spinning right now. We remember it spinning. But we're, we're gonna get the, the camera, or we're gonna make it spin somehow. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it. Meanwhile, I'm enjoying my pastilla, guava, yeah. and your milkshake. Yeah. Extra good? Yeah, batido. Very Extra. good, sabroso. <laughs> now that we're refreshed, we're going to go back to Atomic Studio to see some of the graffiti and other artwork he has created. Let's check out Atomic Studio and some of his great artwork because he does fine art too, not just graffiti art. We have known Atomic since the 1990s when we started photographing his graffiti for our Miami Graffiti book which was published in 2009. You know, something that um, is directly related to where I paint. It's not like a clean canvas or a nice paper. But um, yeah, I enjoy painting on street signs a lot. My name's Adam, also known as Atomic, and I'm born and raised here in Miami, Florida. Born in 1981, and I started spray painting around 1994, 1995. I credit the year of starting as 1996 because I finally gained can control with a aerosol. I did graffiti lettering with my name and my crews from 1996 to 2008 when they demolished the Miami Orange Bowl. And I basically transformed my um, artistic focus from letters to a smiling orange face. And um, if you wanna look up OB from the Miami Orange Bowl, you could see where I got my direct inspiration. And um, yeah, I got a, a very good response from that character, uh, more so than graffiti lettering. It, it reached a, a broader audience. And um, yeah, I've traveled 30 countries painting it and I appreciate y'all coming to check me out and giving me the opportunity to uh, represent here. To get the Atomic gear like the t-shirt and snapback I'm wearing, visit Atomic's website and check out his Instagram, at Atomico. What a great day we had in Miami today with our friend Atomic, looking at all his great graffiti at his studio and all the walls and getting some great food and pastries. So much fun, extra good. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and give it a thumbs up and share our video if you liked it. You may also enjoy watching some of our other food tour videos in New York City. We'll also be visiting more great Cuban food spots in Miami's upcoming videos. So hit that bell to be notified. Bye guys. Bye guys. Adios amigos. Adios.